Hey guys, welcome back to All About the Popcorn. I'm Stephanie, thank you for clicking on this video. Now if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, then how about clicking that subscribe button. So we are flying solo today, you guys. It's been a hot minute since I've been to the theater by myself. <laughs> So this is a movie that I went in knowing absolutely nothing about. Nothing. I had been hearing little whispers about how awesome the movie is, one of Nicolas Cage's best performances, one of, well not just his best performances, one of the better performances of the year, and that it also has like John Wick vibes to it. Now I from all that, I have to agree with like the top three, it's those four points that I said. Um, there's absolutely no John Wickness in here, so I don't know why people were saying that. I mean, at this point, I guess when anybody takes or kills in John Wick's case here, the pig was kidnapped. Who has my pig? I guess when that point kind of happens, we're just gonna reference it to being like John Wick, but nothing like John Wick. This movie has like zero zero action. Again, I didn't see the trailer. You'll see like little clips of it here um, as I always incorporate within my reviews. So I don't know how the trailer was marketing this movie but there's like no action to it. So we are following Rob who's played by Nicolas Cage who's this lonesome like truffle farmer. Apparently he has one of the best truffles. You know my seat is totally by the way, just off note, it's throwing me off. I keep thinking my hair is like going to the side. That's why I keep touching it. Okay, here we go. Back to the review. The movie, honestly, is just here. It is a very slow but very interesting movie. So it's definitely not going to be for everybody. If you are looking for like Nicolas Cage craziness, you're not going to get that here. He really, really did deliver with great performance. A supporting actor who is played by Alex Wolf, who plays Amir in the film, also gave a really, really great performance. And so it's not just Nicolas Cage. Like I said, it's just like a very dramatic here moment there's really no up and down no like real dramatic suspenseful exciting things with it it's just a man looking for his pig does he find the pig what happens to the pig where's this pig at i'm not gonna give you guys any spoilers i mean it's just it's a really really great film this is uh nicholas cage second movie i think it's the second movie only of 2021 and so far he is not letting down i am a fan of willie's wonderland i enjoyed it for what it was or what it is um i do have a review on it i'll go ahead and link it up here if you want to hear my overall thoughts on it so before i do give you my score if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Um, I know I didn't really get too, too much into it. Oh, also the, the look, the look, the feel, the tone of the movie just really goes with everything. So with all that said, I'm going to give Pig a large popcorn. Even though it is more of a slower paced tone movie, it just worked. It was a really great, great story and I was totally here for it. I totally do recommend for you guys to check it out. And it has Nicolas Cage without being like Nicolas Cage. Don't go in there thinking it's going to be like freaking John Wick because there's like no John Wick in here. Not at all. When we find out about his past and who he was, I'm just like, why would anybody make the comparison to John Wick? I just, I can't. Anyway, goes. If you've seen Pig, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Are you going to pass on watching it? Are you looking forward to watching it? Let me know in the comment section down below. All right, until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye. Bye.